to give a virtual machine in Azure a static private IP address requires a few steps that don't use the operating system inside the virtual machine itself. Let's start by creating a virtual network. So I'll click on create a resource, scroll down to networking, then scroll back up and select virtual network. I'll click create new to make a new resource group to put this virtual network in and give the virtual network a name. Clicking on next for the IP addresses, I'm going to choose an address space of 192.168.0.0/16 and remove the one that was there by default. Then I click add subnet and give the subnet a name of front end and a subnet address range that matches the address space that we entered. So in this case, 192.168.1.0/24. I'll add that and then click review and create. After passing validation against things like Azure policies that we might have in place, I'll click create. Now let's go and create a virtual machine from the top corner menu icon to create a resource. We'll scroll down to compute and select virtual machine. Next to resource group, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and put it into an existing resource group I have called Contoso resource group two. And I need to enter a virtual machine name. Let's leave the region as SUS and I want to click on image and choose a Windows Server 2019 data center image. Now in my size, I'll choose select size and in the search bar type in B1 so I can scroll down and select a B1 LS general purpose size machine. And we need to enter an administrator account, username and password. Now I can select next to skip past the disks page and then next again for networking. It's defaulted to a virtual network of Contoso VN7 and already pre-selected the front end subnet in the virtual network that we previously created. I'll click on next for the management page. So now we can click review and create. To run this configuration against any Azure policies that we might have applied to the subscription. And once that validation has passed, click create. Now that virtual machine has been created, let's go and check its IP address information. In the search bar of the Azure portal, I'm going to start typing virtual machines and click on it in the search results. Then clicking on the name of the new VM I just created, I can see the private IP address listed here in the overview, but I can also go and check under networking and confirm the private IP address that's been allocated to the network interface for this virtual machine. If I click on the name of that network interface, I can then choose IP configurations from under the settings and select the IP configuration that's listed in the table. In private IP address settings, it's showing as dynamic at the moment. So here is where we can click to change that to static. It's populated the IP address field with that 192.168.1.4 address. And now we can just click on save. Now we've set this IP configuration to static. If this virtual machine is shut down and restarted again for any reason, it will continue to use the same static private IP address.